Tonight, a woman has been arrested after police say she robbed a local Taco Bell on Wednesday morning. Now, SAPD believes Gabriela Ramirez is responsible for two other robberies earlier that morning. Ken's Five reporter Meredith Haas is putting the pieces together. Police say Gabriela Ramirez would try using a plastic bag to hide her identity in three separate robberies and a highlighter and a box cutter to try and threaten store clerks. Police say it all began at this Circle K around 3 a.m. Wednesday. The store clerk telling police Ramirez would put her in a headlock demanding she open the register. When the clerk didn't, police say Ramirez allegedly held a highlighter to the victim's neck, continuing her demands. After police say Ramirez threatened having a gun, the suspect would steal some scratch-offs, driving away in a black pickup. Just an hour later at this 7-Eleven off I-35, police say Ramirez would try using a plastic bag again to hide her identity from store clerks. The clerk working at the time describing how Ramirez jumped over the counter. The victim walking out the door as Ramirez allegedly grabbed the register. When the victim tried to block Ramirez from getting out, that's when police say she reached for her waistband, claiming to have a gun. Then around 10 a.m., her very last stop where police would arrest Ramirez at this Taco Bell off Seguin Street. Once again, Ramirez trying to use a plastic bag to hide her face. SAPD says Ramirez demanded the victims give her the register. Police would arrive around 10 a.m. arresting Ramirez, then a confession. At last check, Ramirez is still in jail, her bond being set at $40,000. Reporting on the east side, I'm Meredith Haas, Ken's 5.